So here's the carpal tunnel release system with the guide, the dilators, and then the blade. We'll do our standard exposure. The incision for this uh, system is proximal based. You make about a one to one and a half centimeter incision just over and then slightly uh, ulnar to the palmaris longus tendon. So here's the uh, antibrachial fascia right here and we were gonna incise that to open up our carpal tunnel proximally and this is the edge of the antibrachial fascia that you need to elevate to see your median nerve right here. So we're gonna use a skin hook to hold that up and then we are gonna use our dilators. We've got a smaller one and then a larger one to dilate for the carpal tunnel. So we're dilating first second and then we have our slotted guide the scope goes in and you'll be able to visualize your ligament you can see the light source there so we can see the undersurface of our transverse carpal ligament through this slotted guide we can see the origin here the proximal aspect and then we can see all the way to the distal aspect of the transverse carpal ligament and you can see that the median nerve is not in the way so it's protected and then the system comes with a blade that we're going to use to cut the ligament. So here's the edge of the blade you can see in the top right corner. And we are incising the ligament as we're following it down. So here now we can see the transverse carpal ligament released. So it's been released from down here all the way up. I'm rotating the guide and we can clearly see the median nerve coming into view. And you can see the guide protected our, our median nerve and we just released completely the carpal tunnel and the transverse carpal ligament. Median nerve is to our right and there it is coming into view.